Why my Google Ads are actually not spending anything? This is a very interesting question that I get all the time from potential Google Ads clients that jump on a personal call with me. Actually, Google Ads is a very interesting platform because it explains you exactly why it's working or why it's not working. So the philosophy why your ads are not spending is a very interesting question and that's what I'm going to break down in this video. At the end of the video, you know exactly why your ads are not spending right now and what you can potentially fix to solve this problem and get your account up and running. My name is Robin. I've been active in the e-commerce industry since early 2019, whereas I also run a Google Ads agency with more than 40 Google Ads clients right now, prioritizing profit first. We are only launching and scaling Google Ads clients towards the Google Ads platform as well as on YouTube. So in this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why your account don't spend any ads on Google, right? Because the situation is most likely that you just created your account, you connected your merchant center towards it, you just run and create your very first campaigns, and then you sit back and wait for the ad spend and the learning phase begin. This is a very exciting moment and I see people going wrong here all the time because they simply don't know the five basic rules what I'm going to explain in this video and how you can actually solve this problem and avoid it going live much faster, generating better data and getting more sales throughout the whole process. So reason number one might be the quality score of your website. All that Google cares about is a good customer experience on your website from the visitor that they drive from the Google platform to your website, right? So because they want to have a good experience, they are not generating traffic towards a website with a low uh, speed quality and because they care about the quality of the visitor they don't drive traffic to a slow loading website and the reason for that is the quality score is measuring a few factors and the loading speed of your website is a very dominant one in this category because you need to see it that you need to enter the auction with your website and therefore the quality score will measure your website against your competitors so if your website has a lower loading speed than your competitors there is a low ranking for the quality score for your website as well and therefore if the competitor has a higher ranking uh, google favors their uh, website over yours because the visitor from google simply has a better experience on their website so improving your loading speed is always a good idea to win the auction from google also drive more visitors and get more conversions right because the conversion rate also will increase when your loading speed will be faster as well so this is a very interesting thing what not many people talk about but i actually know from first-hand experience like all the website that we work for we most optimize the conversion rate by uh, implementing the website speed fixes therefore we also get a lower cost per click so we drive more traffic from the existing ad spend to the website and getting a better roi if you need help with this process make sure to click the link in the description as well reason number two why your google ads account not be taking off in terms of ad spend and uh, impressions uh, might be the reason of the connection between the google merchant center and the google ads account picture this Google is generating all data from your products and your website and validating them in the Merchant Center. So this is a very important uh, platform where they have the criteria to test if you are a verified advertiser and what kind of products you're actually selling with what kind of criteria in terms of the title, description, pricing, images and so on, all specific criteria for this product. So the moment when you link this Merchant Center platform to the Google Ads platform, all data will be synchronized there. So most likely you run an e-commerce store, for example, on Shopify, the data from Shopify goes to your Merchant Center, all data will be verified and approved right there, or disapproved, of course, that could also happen. But if it's approved, you connect your Google Ads account towards it, and then you can create your very first Google Shopping campaigns with the data from the Merchant Center. But if your data is not strong enough, for example, your um, product titles and your product description are not SEO optimized, so you have very limited keywords and limited traffic there, the Google Ads will never take off because of the simple reason that they don't know exactly what you're selling, right? So limiting the quality of your products in the Merchant Center is always a bad idea in terms of the results you get from your Google Ads. So that was actually reason number two why your Google Ads account might not take off yet. And before I go to reason number three and I explain you everything about it, make sure to like and subscribe this video because this is first hand value, what I'm providing from my own experience and that could help potentially solve you a lot of problems and get more results for Google Ads. So don't forget to like and subscribe. So actually reason number three is also a very important factor. 
And it's actually the history you have with Google and your company details, right? Because all what Google cares about is firsthand the customer experience on your website and second of hand, the profit they are generating from you, right? And third of all, of course, also the profit you are making from the platform. So everyone wins and you start adding more budget so the Google Ads platform makes more money. But if you have a bad track record in the eyes of Google, you can face many suspension now or in the near future. And that could be leading towards that your account will actually never take off, right? Because all that Google cares about is also making money, right? And if you, for example, didn't pay your open account balance, from previous companies or previous uh, Google Ads account, they will 100% like shadow ban you or give you a direct notification of a ban in your account. Because if you are not a trustworthy advertiser, they don't even want your ads to show up in the algorithm and in the auction because there most likely will be many other advertisers who are trustworthy, who are spending and who deserve results, right? So in case you have an open balance in Google Ads account somewhere that you didn't pay or you have another suspended account either in your merchant center or in your Google Ads, there is a big potential that this account gets suspended as well. Sometimes even people try to make more accounts uh, if the first Google Ads account is not even taking off and that leads to the error circumventing system. So you basically try to override the system by creating more accounts. But it's very interesting and easy for Google to actually notify that because they see your uh, business details, they see your personal name and ID card, they see your credit card details. So it's very easy for Google to pick up if you're trying to lie to them and circumvent these systems, right? So that might be the reason number three why your uh, Google Ads account is actually not taking off. And that brings me to reason number four why your Google Ads account might not be taking off yet. And that is leading to a suspension with a delayed notification. So what I see nowadays most of the time is that uh, advertisers create the merchant center very fast they don't really look into the details or at the other videos that i make about this they instantly connect it to the google ads account and then some issues appear in the merchant center but what i see since the start of this year is that there's a delay in notification from the merchant center to your email so before when you had a merchant center error you will receive an email from google that something is wrong but now this email comes sometimes up to two or three days later so you see the direct effect that your ads were spending or not spending at all and you only get the email from this suspension from the merchant center a few days later so in the meantime your ad account get totally shut down you're not spending you're not generating any impressions or clicks and the reason as i said in number four is that actually there is a delayed notification so you will receive an email from merchant center or from google ads like two three days later but you will see the effect instantly in terms of that you're not spending and generating results as of right now so reason number five why your google ads account is not taking off right now might be the campaign structure like google can feel very overwhelming when you just created your first accounts and campaign so therefore it's very important to actually know what you're doing and know how to structure everything so you're not bidding against yourself in your own ad account leading to bad results right separating the cold and the warm traffic from each other to start with is a very important thing separating different search and keyword campaigns and different shopping campaigns from each other so you're not bidding against yourself is a very important factor and also what I see nowadays is the quality score from the campaigns previously I was talking for the quality score about your website and here in reason number five I'm actually talking about the quality score of your campaigns sometimes when you drive too much of the titles and headlines and images your quality score cannot be good for the campaign or if you drive less so sometimes it happens that you create for example a performance max without any assets therefore the quality score is very low and because we have 40 google ads clients drive right now i see from first hand that sometimes an empty campaign will not pick up especially in some countries more than in others and that has something to do with the people that are already actively advertising on the google ads platform if the market is more competitive there is a higher chance that you need to stand out much more by creating better campaigns whereas if there is low competition you can whip up any campaign and can see the first results quite fast so the quality score 
of your campaigns is very interesting and important in this factor um, when it comes to the question why your Google Ads account is not taking off yet. So, and that wraps up the five reasons why your Google Ads account might get any data in terms of impressions, clicks and conversions. So this is very important to know and make sure to click the link in the description if you face any of these five issues and you need some help solving it and crush it on Google Ads. And if you're for whatever reason not ready to click on the link in the description, I will also implement the recommendation video after this where I go over my full Google Ads strategy, how you can go from your empty Google account to a successful launch for your e-commerce website. So make sure to check that video out as well. My name is Robin. Thanks for watching this video and I see you on the winning side.